Hey there fellow gamers and welcome back to our channel. Today we've got an exciting video in store for you as we dive into the world of gaming monitors. If you're looking to elevate your gaming experience, you're in the right place. We score the market and narrow down the top 5 FreeSync monitors of 2024. So without further ado, let's get started. Number 5 Gigabyte M32UC The Gigabyte M32UC is a fantastic offering in the area of gaming monitors in 2024 combining price and speed in a 4K panel. While lower resolution alternatives are available at a lesser cost, the M32UC exemplifies the convergence of quality and value. The Gigabyte M32UC is an appealing option for a fast 4K gaming monitor of this size with prices as low as $600. What distinguishes it is the impressive set of functions it provides for the price. It has two HDMI 2.1 connectors, a 1 millisecond MPRT reaction time, FreeSync Premium Pro support, and a USB 3.2 hub for convenience. The M32UC runs at a decent 144 Hz out of the box, necessitating the need of a powerful graphics card to properly leverage the 4K resolution. If you use a DisplayPort 1.4 connection, you can overclock the panel via the on screen display OSD, increasing the refresh rate to 160 Hz. While this refresh rate may appear to many users to be excessive, it is an interesting option for those building high performance setups or considering future upgrades to powerful next generation GPUs. Number 4 ASGROC Phantom PG34 WQ15R2B. In the context of FreeSync displays in 2024, the ASRock Phantom PG34 UQ15R2B is an attractive prospect. It uses VA panel technology, which is a common choice given its attractive price point. While this choice may imply a slight reduction in pixel response capability when compared to IPS panels, ASRock claims a 1 millisecond reaction time when measured using the MPRT metric. There is no particular number supplied for the gray to gray measurement, although it is most likely in the 2 milliseconds to 4 milliseconds range, depending on the intensity of ASRock's overdrive technique. The monitor has a high brightness level of 550 nits, which is outstanding for a monitor in this price category. Furthermore, it has Display DR400 certification, which is considered an entry-level HDR standard, but a significant improvement over having no HDR compatibility. It lays the groundwork for a reasonably good entry-level HDR experience with a powerful backlight and the VA panel's inherent 3000 to 1 contrast ratio. For a monitor in this price range, ASRock's promise of 91% coverage of the DCI-P3 digital cinema color space is very notable. It has a single display port, 1.4 input, and two HEMI 2.0 ports for communication. Because HEMI connections are limited to 100 Hz, you'll need to use the DP 1.4 interface to achieve the full 165 Hz refresh rate. The monitor also includes AMD FreeSync Premium compatibility, a mile 1500 R panel curve, and a fully adjustable stand with height, tilt, and swivel settings. This comprehensive bundle appears to be pretty enticing in principle, but how does it work in practice? Initial impressions are positive. The screen may not be the brightest in normal SDR mode, especially given its 550-nit brightness rating. However, the calibration is reasonable, with just modest color oversaturation and compression noticeable in darker tones. It provides an aesthetically pleasant presentation in terms of static image quality. Surprisingly, enabling HDR in Windows and fine-tuning SDR brightness settings results in a more vibrant and delightful SDR experience. Furthermore, the color balance becomes more natural and the small compression in deeper tones disappears, improving the overall visual appeal. Number 3 Alienware 25A of A2521 HF The Alienware 25A of A2521 HF, a G-Sync compliant FreeSync display in 2024, provides a smooth, stutter-free gaming experience with support for both NVIDIA GeForce and AMD GPUs. With a blistering 240 Hz refresh rate and an ultra-fast 1 millisecond gray-to-gray response time, this monitor performs admirably in games like Valorant and Destiny 2, exhibiting minimal costing or artifacts. While there are certain viewing angle limits, especially with specific hues, the display maintains impressive and balanced color consistency. It provides rich, natural colors in-game without oversaturation. However, depending on your viewing position, the static contrast may not deliver the darkest blacks, and there is significant IPS bloom, especially towards the bottom and left. On the plus side, the monitor has plenty of brightness, making it perfect for use in well-lit areas. The a 252 hf has great viewing angles, whether you place it in the middle of your desk for gaming or off to the side as a secondary monitor in portrait mode for work. 
The main disadvantages are the lack of HDR capability and the fairly limited contrast. Despite these minor flaws, it is a top-tier gaming monitor that provides an excellent gaming experience. Number 2. Dell's 2722 DGM The classic 27-inch Dell's 2722 DGM combines considerable screen real estate with a native resolution of 2560x1440, giving you a fantastic pixel pitch for fine detail. It's also a good resolution for attaining excellent frame rates without the GPU needs of a 4K monitor at 1440 it can also produce that resolution at 165 Hz, which is impressive. It has a 2 milliseconds gray-to-gray -gray reaction time, which is just a little slower than the finest IPS panel's 1 millisecond and 0.5 milliseconds ratings, so you're covered in terms of speed. In terms of the Dell's 2722 DGM's broader feature set, you can't anticipate too many frills at this price. USB Type-C connectivity, for example, is absent. However, the twin HDMI and single display port connections are adequate, even if the HDMI ports only support 144 Hz rather than 165 Hz. Anyway, if that doesn't qualify as a serious caveat, there's not much else to say about image quality. Considering it's a pure SDR screen, the Dell's 2722 DGM is a reasonably vivid and vibrant monitor. The high inherent contrast undoubtedly helps ensuring that you don't feel cheated when playing games like Cyberpunk 2077 in SDR mode which support HDR. So the Dell's 2722 DGM will suffice for eye candy. It's also fast enough to deliver where speed is critical. As previously stated, various overdrive settings are accessible in the OSD. We'd avoid MPRT mode which reduces the brightness and richness of the panel. The extreme setting, which is listed at 2 milliseconds, has a smidgen of overshoot but it's only barely noticeable in-game whilst super fast removes the overshoot but only allows for a little blurring of darker tones. Number 1 LG 27 GN 950B An LG Ultra Gear 27 GN 950 is a fantastic gaming display. The LG Ultra Gear 27 GN 950 is a vexingly defective gaming display. Choose your favorite because it's all true. And it encapsulates everything that's both good and bad about today's gaming monitor industry. But let us not go too far ahead of ourselves. Let's start with some speeds and feeds. The LG Ultra Gear 27 GN 950 is a new entrant in the competitive 27-inch 4K, 144Hz market. The 27 GN 950 is a tweener in this space in terms of price and specifications, costing roughly £950 in the UK and a more tempting $800 in the US. The most evident drawback when compared to similar but even more expensive panels is HER implementation. The 27GN950 supports HER, including local dimming, and has VESA's Display HER 600 certification. However, there are only 16 edge-lit zones in the local dimming, which does not promise well for a real HER experience. Then it's back to the pixel response mayhem. The most aggressive pixel overdrive option has quite noticeable overshoot and so costing. However, in subjective terms, a medium overdrive level produces pretty fast pixels, especially for an IPS panel, even if you're not achieving the promised 1 millisecond performance, adding little to no apparent input lag owing to the 144Hz refresh rate, and you have a fantastic gaming experience. As a result, the new LG Ultra Gear 27 GN 950 is a difficult screen to characterize. With 144Hz refresh and rapid reflexes, it surely delivers on its fundamental feature of 4K. The color quality of the Nano IPS panel is also exceptional. However, some of the finer details and additional capabilities like as HER and responsiveness aren't clear winners. Meanwhile, the lack of HDMI 2.1 and USB Type-C is somewhat restricting, especially in the long run. While you may not wish to connect a console or use this monitor with a laptop right now, additional compatibility for those usage models may come in handy in the future. They're not unreasonable demands at this pricing point. Guys, there concludes our top 5 best freezing monitors of 2024 list. All product links are in the description, which is updated with the lowest prices. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. Until then, we'll see you in the next video.